Good morning, everybody. It's 5.23. I just got out of the bed. It's Thursday, the 4th of August, and this is my first weigh-in of the day before I go for my walk. Two forty-seven point eight hazelnut coffee. I usually don't drink just flavored coffee. I usually like to mix it with plain coffee, but we're out of it right now. You smell that? Mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna cross my fingers that this records. The little lights blink in. We're at number thirteen. <laughs> It took me a little longer to get out the door than I'd hoped. I gave myself an extra 15 minutes of sleep. I woke up at 5.15. I tried not to wake Doug up. He doesn't have to get up yet. And uh, then I couldn't find my mace. I'm not leaving without my mace. And look at this, I'm wearing flip-flops. I gotta go back home, put my shoes on. Do you see how out of it I am? This is wonderful. But I got my mace. I just try to get this done while it's still dark outside. Had my shoes and my socks sitting right there and still forgot to put damn things on. Oh. All right, it's 5.51. So it was actually only 5.45 or 5.46 when uh, I first started. But yeah, that was time out of my day that I didn't want to waste, but this happens. I cannot believe I forgot to put my tennis shoes on. Really the only time I wear tennis shoes is if I'm going on my walk. Um, being in Florida, I can go from flip-flops to sandals, depending on if it's, you know, hanging around the house, going to the grocery store, or going out for dinner. You know, you can wear beautiful sandals in the summer, everyone knows that, and uh, fancy sandals, not some shit sandals or flip-flops. It's summertime, and I'm in Florida, which extends the uh, length of time that I can wear that type of footwear and um, I take full advantage of it because nobody loves a flip-flop like this bitch right here so anyway I was really shocked at how awake I was when I got up I was gonna hit the snooze and be like eh five more minutes so I went ahead and I hit the snooze and I laid there for all of seven seconds and went, nah, screw that. I'm gonna get up. Let's get going here. I'm glad I did because it took me a little longer than I planned to get myself ready to go. Then I forgot my shoes. That's always good. I didn't do my damn stretches. Oh, well, I'll pay for it later. I'm not going back and starting that shit. But I didn't forget my mace. That took me probably longer out of the way stuff than anything. I mean, the rest of the stuff was, you know, stuff I planned, but <sighs> yeah, I had to locate my mace. It was on the table. I can't find it, so I had to go in my purse and get my second one. I have three or four of them because I'll throw one to Doug or I'll throw one to Madison if we're stepping out the door and be like, grab a mace. People expect a gun, they don't expect a mace. So, that's always a good shocker. Ooh. Don't really have anything to talk about today. I just don't know. I know um, I wanna try to start doing some kind of craft type stuff, you know, like, uh, glass work I see a lot of people taking you know glass things and painting them up and uh, giving them new life giving them a color or a theme taking boring glass and making it not boring I want to try that kind of shit so I've been buying a lot of glass stuff over the last month at like the thrift stores for a quarter or a dollar, super cheap. Actually not as cheap as it should be at a thrift store. That's another thing, these thrift stores around here are outrageously priced. Some of them 
are selling they're selling Dollar Tree items for two dollars and me and Doug just laugh we're like dude dude this is at the Dollar Tree for a dollar why are they asking two dollars that doesn't make any sense so anyway you know, the Goodwill is always really expensive good morning uh, oh hey little lizard Ooh, you're so cute <sighs> lizards lizards everywhere I'm gonna miss that about Florida I really am freaking love those little critters they're so cute they give me something to look forward to as well when I go for my walk we had a really bad storm yesterday and a couple of days ago over the last couple of days we've had a little rain here a little rain there a couple storms during the week and uh, they were calling for storms this whole coming week like for the next five days but they hadn't determined you know over the five-day forecast for sure you know the later in the five-day forecast the less accurate that it is until they get right up on it uh, they hadn't determined if it was gonna be morning you know a.m. or p.m. showers so I was thinking wow I'm gonna have to do my walk with an umbrella in one hand and a selfie stick in the other I guess I'll hold my mace in my fucking teeth I don't know. I mean, not once did I think, oh, I'm not going to be able to take my morning walk. You know, I just said, well, I'm going to have to carry a fucking umbrella with me. But it always feels better when you keep pushing towards your goal, even when there's obstacles in the way. I don't know. There's something about my personality that doesn't want an easy road. I mean, I, I, I can't say I don't want it easy. How do I want to put it? Uh, I, gr I greatly appreciate a task at hand, I guess is how you'd see it. Um, something as simple as going for a morning walk if you involve, oh look, it's a thunderstorm or it's pouring down rain. Then you, you know, <clears throat> You push forward harder, or I do. And you're like, fuck yeah, I can do this. Challenge me. That's the way I see it. Challenge me. I got you. <laughs> and this is this is a challenge. The fitness, the weight loss. You know, with age, you get the you get the neck skin. That's always delightful. I don't I don't find it unattractive. I see it as just a path that we're on period some people go get surgery to have those things altered they're denying the path that they've traveled I don't know what their problem is uh, some people just aren't ready to deal with it I don't really like the gray hair very much but I don't I haven't dyed my hair in oh my god let's see huh? three years I'm thinking but uh yeah, I want to dye it. I want to dye my hair. But you just never know what you're going to end up with, especially when you have red undertones in your hair. <laughs> you want to be real careful. So I was determined I'm not going to do the home dye kit. I'm going to wait until I can go to a salon, which can be pricey, especially for longer hair. So I just haven't been. Every time we've had the money for me to go to a salon, I've gone, nah. And Doug's like, just go get it fucking done. You've been wanting to go to a salon and get your hair dyed for so long. I'm like, that's a lot of money. We could go do so much more with that money than stick it on my head. I don't know. I'm a thrifty bitch. I wear that like a badge though. I don't see that as a bad thing. Never had a credit card, never want a credit card. Mm -hmm. But the whole craft idea I had, I did get some spray paints for, you know, for glass. They're made for glass. I have this 
jug, a glass jug. It's really old. It's called a Spee's vinegar jug, a you save it jug. Anyone out there that collects glass stuff in jars and jugs, they know what I'm talking about. It's U, the letter U, dash S-A-V-E, dash I-T, you save it. And it's Spee's vinegar, an old brand from back in the day. Pretty jug, simple but pretty. I found two of them after the Hurricane Floyd flood in North Carolina, in Rocky Mountain. It was the weirdest thing I found. That's a whole nother story. I'm gonna end up in the wrong area again on my story. Um, I found it on the side of the road and then as I was walking away, I had thought I'd seen a car in the woods. Like the doors were open, the hood was open up in the woods right off the main road and I made my mom turn around. I was like, go back, there's a car just like probably stolen. Let's go back there and make sure everything's okay. So she parked as far into the field as she could and I walked back towards where I saw the car. Couldn't find the car. Couldn't see it as good from the ground. I never did find the car. Um, but as I was walking back to her, I found these two jugs. There were two of them and a couple of jars. During the flood, it lifted and towed it away all of the glass collectibles an old man had across the street in a huge barn. And he never did find them all. He had since moved away, he was gone. He may have even passed away, I don't know. But I said, I'll bet you these came from across the street, that old man's barn. She said, probably, which meant they had been laying there for about six or seven years, probably about seven, actually. No, this was 06, so. Hurricane Floyd was in, I want to say 99. Well, there you go. Eight years, those have been laying on the side of the road in this little ravine. But I sold one on eBay for $85. I didn't sell the other one because I wanted to keep it. Then I realized I just wasn't in love with it like I thought I was. And I wanted to sell it. But then I had packed it away and I couldn't find the damn thing. But anyway, I found it in some other stuff that was way more sentimental than that jug thankfully and it's with me now they're not going for 85 dollars anymore <laughs> that's been a while back when i sold that one on ebay um many 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 years ago so i wanted to breathe new life into it by painting it and a lot of folks would say don't do that that's a collectible oh my god big old jug like that it's like a gallon size i think i can't remember but anyway I'm going to paint it. Maybe that'll make it stand out from the rest of the jugs that are identical to it. The Spee's vinegar jugs. It's got a handle on it and everything. It's really nice. It doesn't have the cap, the lid. I had one with the lid, the metal cap. It was rusted. But that's the one I sold on eBay for 85 People love to get them with the cap. I don't know why. Especially when the cap is... I mean, I know why they want the cap. I don't know why they want them, even if it's rusty. But they did, so they got it. I wanted, uh, I think I wanted like 110. And I got a couple of offers. And, you know, I counter offered people when they would give me the offers. And me and this one man haggled down to $85. And that's what I sold it for. For a jug that I found because I thought I saw a car in the woods with the doors open and I never did find the damn car but my pace is pretty slow today I didn't realize it but the humidity is really high <laughs> the humidity is really high traffic's picking up crystal has a line how the fuck people are eating that nasty shit I will never figure it's disgusting absolutely disgusting and little teeny five for five little baby slider burgers five for five Ugh. what a rip off and Doug said they taste like shit you know I don't know because I've never eaten uh, crystal but one time when we lived here before and I was just getting out of jail I'd spent the weekend in jail for being bad. But it was, you know, it was a weekend in Florida. Naughty was the, naughty was the trend. I was having fun, not being bad. 
Um, but anyway, that's what happens when bitches run their mouths. <laughs> but uh, let's just say one of us went to the hospital. It wasn't me, I was in jail. Uh, but when I got out, the old fella, Ralph, that lived next door to us that got me out, oh, he had me a sack of Crystal Burgers. They were delicious then because I was hungry. Jail food sucks. I didn't get in any trouble. They just made me wait the weekend. And then charges got dropped. That's because that bitch knew she wouldn't get her ass beat again if she pressed him. Whew, okay. That's it. I didn't have to use. Where is it at? There it is. I didn't have to use this at all. I'm not even going to spray it. We had a friend. He's a cop. Well, he was a cop, and then he went to the sheriff's department instead. And when he became a cop, he used to uh, come over during our parties with his police car and the siren going and freak us all out. And uh, we'd be like, it's the cops! And somebody would say, nope, it's just Charles. So um, one day he came over, won't nobody over, but Doug and me. We didn't have nobody over. And the kids were playing inside. Shane wasn't born yet, and he had one of these, the police kind. He was like, yeah, they make us get sprayed with this. And we're talking 24 years ago, make closer to 25 years ago. And we went into the building out back that we kept stuff stored, like paint and stuff like that, where we lived. And uh, he sprayed it on a board. I was a good eight feet behind him and it lit me up. He sprayed it this way, like that way. And I was back here. So this shit's potent at least the stuff the police have is <laughs> but uh i know there's a recipe online on how to make this yourself i will find that recipe and i'll do a video so everybody knows they can make their own and put it in a little bottle themselves and all that shit that's something we can share so i'll do that maybe today maybe tomorrow my dog's freaking out maybe doug's awake yeah i think doug's awake yeah it's almost time for him to leave anyway Got to build those pallets. <laughs> uh, they start bright and early when they're building pallets, you know. Uh, but um, anyway, thanks for uh, going with me on my walk and listening to me just chatter about random shit today because I didn't have anything to talk about. If anybody has a topic that they want to hear about on their next, on my next walk tomorrow, just let me know, and we'll do that. And I will definitely. Uh, talk now to go in and check this and make sure it friggin recorded <laughs> better recorded and Vegas fixing Rory you better get on the ball with this shit I'm serious you're the one that got me into this crap and now you're not even doing it you know I mean I was already doing the walk-in but then you were like hey let's do this as a challenge and you can be the only participant so no I didn't drink my water before I left. Do you see how out of whack I am? Oh my God. I gotta go in there and drink a thousand gallons of water now because I'm probably completely dehydrated. Um, I can't wear makeup when I walk for obvious reasons. Oh, the sweat, the dehydration, yes. Anyway, thanks for coming with me on my walk and listening to my random chatter. And uh, let me know if there's a topic you want to discuss. Uh, let me know in the discussion at the bottom in the comments area and we'll hit on as many topics as we can on tomorrow's walk even if i have to extend the walk bye <laughs>